People are going. Welcome to Fix Up. Fix Up, Fix Up. You are going to get Fix Up, Fix Up. Sean Patterson was 33. He was on holiday in Jamaica when he was shot dead. My phone don't stop ringing. What's happened to your son, Helen? Why have they killed him? How have they killed him? Sean had flown to Jamaica with a friend to see in the new year. On Monday, he was staying in this guest house when he was shot multiple times near the villa's pool. Police in Jamaica have reportedly arrested a 34-year-old man who'd previously been deported from England 10 years ago. Currently at the beach, obviously. It's really windy, so I hope you can hear me. But one thing that's been a really hard adjustment for me moving back to Jamaica from living in the States is um, my lack of freedom and autonomy. Today I wanted to go to the beach to do my journaling and vision boarding and that type of stuff. And I wanted to go out to Bob Marley Beach. I've never been before, but I've heard it's a really nice atmosphere and it's really peaceful, not a lot of people, and it's not far. And my parents said I couldn't go. My mom basically said I was banned from going there by myself. Even with a girlfriend, they didn't want me to go because they're so worried for my safety because of how bad the crime has been recently. We live in such a beautiful country. Like, just look, like, I mean, that's you're not even seeing much, but like, this country is so unbelievably beautiful and we barely get to enjoy it. So tonight I want to talk about a video I saw recently. Um, I'm not sure if you all saw it, but we, you know, we'll insert, yeah, we insert okay? editing, you know, editing magic, go. Yeah. So this young lady um, came on social media talking about the fact that she recently moved back to Jamaica from uh, after living in the States for, for some time. And she wanted to go to the beach. I think Bob Marley Beach, she mentioned she wanted to go. And her parents are saying, no, like they don't want to let her out. They don't want to send her anywhere just because they're so worried for her safety. Like that's just how the, the, the stigma in Jamaica right now is that you can't even walk on road at certain time or by yourself if you're a young woman yeah but because it is so dangerous and what she says is like she feel like a child though where she get restrictions she come from foreign which she's a big woman and when yeah. she reach home her mother put rules and regulations and curfews yeah. on her and said don't go out after certain hours so mm -hmm. she feel kind of you know what i mean that's horrible as a grown up going back to your own country you have to feel like so restricted it's horrible the for image you. the image that jamaica has um externally i don't know if many of you and i know a lot of you experience it from your own community right the crime is getting out of hand yeah because it's getting out of hand and and the thing is it don't look good especially me being a jamaican and the other day i said news post from the states warning don't go to jamaica sorry what i said this whole conversation started from yo me and bougie and they argue you yeah. don't know, say yo, I said Jamaica till death. Mm -hmm. And me I say yo, chances are one day soon to be allowed to move back to Jamaica, you know. Mm -hmm. And Boja say yo, retire there. Hell freaking no. No. Like she has a point blank period, nigga, no. No. You know what I mean? And me I say yo, no. I'm going to land for her birth, yo, and a full yeah. country this and Jamaica nice. I use yeah. every sales pitch in the book when I can draw for me. I say yo, Jamaica nice, one weather. T-shirt with it all year round. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Water just warm. You just step in. You know if you need no. You see me? I, mean, yeah. I know that can't sell because the real fact is yes, your it's safety. Not. I got word. You see what we there in Canada right now? There's there's crime everywhere. Yes, but when we yes. step out, sometime when I really I think about crime twenty four seven. You know? You get me? I said we don't say it exists, but if you think about it twenty four seven, I got really make you paro like real paranoid. When you're yeah. in Jamaica, you better damn sure think about it. And say yo, you have to know. Everywhere you go, at any given time, at any hour, you have to move a certain way, you have to know mm -hmm. all the street code go. I saw Jamaica. Yeah. And and the thing is the difference is here, yes, crime is everywhere, but sometimes when you hear about certain things happen here, it's like different things leading up to something or somebody being involved in something or whatever. But then in Jamaica, you can just be a regular innocent innocent person, you'll get up here, go to school, 
y'all got work and that's it you understand it's like it, it it don't make sense to me especially here when you're in Jamaica, you have to live in a prison unless you're in a, um, you, if you have enough money where you can live in a gated community um, where you have some protection. Um, most of the houses in Jamaica, you, have, you, have, you live in a prison in your own house because you have to have burglar bar for every window, yeah, yeah, yeah. every door. So you're literally putting bars like you're living in a, in a prison cell. Like, the small minded people in Jamaica will say, yo, you going to foreign and then you going to foreign and, and, and a bash the country and. Yeah, shut the hell up. Shut up. Really and truly, because I don't know, Miss Media Jamaica for the majority of my life, yo. Mm -hmm. Me just there Jamaica they are for a couple of years now. Media Jamaica all my life. I'm a see I witness so much things where people dead because yo a, a bad man had just feel initiation day and feel like say him reaching quota or yeah. reaching quota and he need one more just reaching quota fee we, and you just be, and the, you just be yeah. the person where dead because of that reason. Like it yeah. reached to this point where people brag about killing people and them something. Yeah. Back in the days it have to be a reason like leading up like a bullshit said. You're involved in a something or something yeah, left. Yeah, no. But these days, Mr. Bridging just dead because, yo, like, him right. try everything to live and he just dead because the man just decides to me now walk away without killing. Them yeah. things that happen, yo. And even, and, and it's, it, it's happening so frequent now where somebody just robbing you, like, even if someone on a bad man out there, like, honestly, even if you are going to rob somebody, you know, just rob them and left them with them life. It will all not take up this god thing, you know, and, and like, you know, because you know, you can't blow bread to that man, but yet still, you know, take it. I don't, have, I don't understand say later on they don't have to pay for them something then and, and the Bible said the sins of the father always follow the son. No for one man out there, even if you don't catch one one up them it go follow. But the bad man them back in the days they used to have law and order. As strange oh. as it might sound, bad yes. man them used to have under, under certain yes. orders, right? Not Yo, you don't know, rob woman and pitney and you know do certain you things. Hurt children. You know rob in a in your own community, exactly. terrorize your own There are some some of the little underground rules. rules that it never there. makes sense, but to make order maintain. And yeah. but no, it seems like it's chaotic. Loose. There's no more dance again, everybody at their own dance yeah. and it's just chaotic and just I don't know. They're crazy. Um I just saw uh, Right before the show, actually, I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw a post. Um, Minister Phillips, mm. his brother was arrested at the border for having over six hundred thousand dollars worth of coke, U.S. dollars, mm -hmm. six hundred thousand. And apparently, he's saying, you know, well, that nah, nothing to do with me. He's a minister in Jamaica, but not saying I, I'm not saying anything about him per se. Yeah. But you have to understand, say, one of the reasons why it's so bad now is it's coming from up top. You notice there's so much poverty in Jamaica and the, and the money whether there it just stay up on one little party or so and barely the God bless the few little drops we are trickle down to everybody else right and a lot of people control the money and control the economy certain way where you yeah, have to look a certain way, you have to live certain places, you can't even get a job and then a lot of people go to school and are frustrated because them have them pitney for feed, them have them family for feed and can't get a job. Them them can't get no work no way and then end up after start. Take up Yeah, time. yeah. So my time I survival, you know. Yeah. Really and truly the thing too top heavy. Yes. Yo, the richest set of people in Jamaica, them which is like the one percent mm -hmm. them and them and you're about ninety percent of the money exactly. out of the country, right? So you see big per year and everybody are driving late is 2023 mm -hmm. per year and some bugger things, right? Mm -hmm. And when they look on the teacher salary, police salary, all of them people, eh? Very it's smart. horrible. Very the mafia black road as teachers where we are shaped the young minds, the mafia black road and all type of things to mm. get a little increase, right? While the politician them, one bag of unnecessary people, opposition where we not even need, like put all of them together collectively, them not make one. No. You see me? And the thing does no. the thing could have far better. Yo, know, so them I take a lot of the, the income and then the man them are suffer them guy you with them have them tuition for payback, them have them baby wear balls I say yo them need feeding and everything. The man them are gonna just I don't know, survival. So fittest are the fittest. Yeah, the thing is it's just it's sad because I love Jamaica. Jamaica is one of the best places. If you want to take, take a break and just relax and you can go up on a beach, go lie down, the weather is nice. Jamaica is a nice place, you know. And you have a lot of good people there. Nasty Warmest, friendliest people, you like, we miss the them. The nicest people, because, you know, you now walk past certain people and, you know, you're a hi and a hello and, it, you know. But the bad, the bad apple, they make it bad for everybody else because now it have, it have passed the borders, right? Yep. The entire world and even this are Andrew Tate, one of the most famous per, um, people recently got yeah. cancelled. Um, you know, most Googled man, them say. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. 
Andrew Tate said he went to Jamaica. That's a place he will never, ever, ever set foot again. And you can imagine the most famous person with a headline like that yeah. saying Jamaica blacklisted for him. Yeah. And come on, like if the, the, he said he was there and he got robbed. I look him lucky, him still alive. Mm-hmm. Right? He got robbed there and him saying would I never ever ever go back to Jamaica. Because like come on, like who wants to really stay in a place like that? And me know, and the funny thing is, everybody who get the opportunity to leave, the opportunity to leave, leave. Never come back to Exactly. Just visit and they say, and, I am by. Yeah. And most of the people who are there are trying to leave. Mm-hmm. And the people who are there who aren't trying to leave is because they don't know how or because they feel like they get too old or they don't have the money. I can tell you, well, everybody want 90% left. of the people in Jamaica, if them could have left, them gone. Them left for real, man. And of them will say, oh, I'm not going to wear because they don't have the opportunity. It's rough down there, man. It's so rough down there. Like, JPS, one of the highest utility buildings in the world right now. Crazy. Can I tell how how is that even possible? JPS, Little Jamaica, it was what the fourth highest in the one world. One of the numbers, the third, fourth, or one of them. Third yeah. or fourth highest light bill in the entire world. A Jamaica with Jamaica money never have no value. That's wickedness, isn't Jamaica, it? Jamaica money not have no value. What we wanna do? And, and people now burn so much light. You know, too wicked. They were much of a place, yo. Like Jamaica could have been so nice, the place where yo every, to every tourist would have just fly down and money and spin and US dollars just are rotating at the country and everybody has everybody I eat. But it's the government because even look, remember you know Jamaica was one of the only islands we had our own airline, you know. That yo, normally that don't for happen for a Caribbean yo, island. That is bad for we real. had our own airline, Air Jamaica, the top, a lot. big big something. You understand? We had um, our own sugar factory. Electricity, that all like crazy. of the Jamaica was full. Um, so much potential. Full, I don't know. We had so much things of value. Um, a lot of countries were depending on Jamaica, and the government sell out everything right now. And even black people, you have um, the, the 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 Asians that came in because they get tax breaks. And I'm not saying we don't want people in in the country, but it, it it don't make sense to me when you have external people coming into the country and have way better opportunities um and we, they get benefits and the, the people who are there the jamaicans who are there trying to build the country aren't getting anything Facts. because even the tax breaks that was just dumb like you have the you them very them, tax, the, the most really exactly, truly car them, them come from mine the country and, and all that the tax them the most but yet still them most of them not paying the tax and when it come time for them pay tax they just lock it down and uh, re- find loophole for undone sass people so it's like it's stupid I make fine people look he, like so yo when I eat that one left them big pocket up. So all I have to do is just run a business for one year and then call my uncle. And when him run it in call e- being cousin. E- exactly. And I saw them start rotate every, every year the business name change. Yet still, and then you have the uncared man where you get taxed. Dumb man. How does that even make sense? Minimum wage wages just me never know about that. Back at class. Um me make more than minimum. Like really, you know. <sighs> It just doesn't make no sense. That's the whole problem that like, you think you need to fix up and it's that it, it, it'll take all of us really and truly. The citizens of Africa really yeah. demand more from them government. The citizens of Africa start make sure say yo the bad man them understand them look self. You see me? Can yeah. anybody catch a go with certain things? Yo, you see me somewhere time after those go harsh fire, fire fire with fire. Yeah, and like the bad man them need to know so there's consequences to them shit bro. Like you know, do them but something, man. Me, me see, me see all I am the kill all woman and pitney and them sitting there cut throat and uh, be a madness of one dog. Right? Come on. But why are they how? I don't know. Is the, is it that the police not doing their job or the police them bad? Because I don't understand. Like, is it Jamaica is like never it, Jamaica is hardly ever a place where you know up here, you know in Canada or America. Here I know for sure something happens. They, they, they assign a detective. Um, you have police them now stop search. Until them find it, sometimes, sometimes. it takes years, sometimes. and a case is open, those and they're still trying to solve cops it. Get better pay. They actually put in the work and want to solve crimes because them, them, they see me. Them. And then it goes back to the government. Nobody in Jamaica not even interested. The with government. Them the them, they want to solve their own issue. They yeah, the cops they right in fridge empty, and then the case the police they want to solve right now. True. Uh, that, so, but that's it. All goes back to the head, the top. I don't know. And is is it that the country have no money? And I mean, what a foolishness that money there, Jamaica. We know that. Enough money there, Jamaica. Right? But then we keep um the government keep on a take loans and them just make other countries have one by the balls like them just they to do whatever they want, we don't know. Yeah, honestly, yo. 
by myself could I go on and on with this people but I don't know continue the conversation in the comment section right now we could yeah, brainstorm what can be objective. done you feel like say too far gone for even be saved or there's still hope what we can do different that's that are the whole yeah, concept well, right now we need to discuss and come up with some solutions really and um, just drop in the comment section because I'm for I think someone needs to put a petition too much old people in parliament um, we need to fire the whole old people that were in there for too much years and get some young fresh minds I agree the old people them just uh, hang up the seat and don't want to let it go no, think past 30 no, years no, are the same name no. them, you know? leave it to some young people educated well qualified young people I, I second that what? I second that right there. Yeah, so people make one another comment section. Um there's a lot more to talk about, so we'll do that in another video. Definitely people.